Someone asked me how you would uh, increase the gain of uh, an amp or increase, increase the gain of a preamp stage. So I figured I should uh, show you guys my Princeton that I've been using lately. Uh, I've been using it because it fits in my very small Miata um, and my trainer does not. Anyway, um, so what I've done to this, uh, this Princeton, because it sounded pretty good, it was almost dead stock when I got it. Uh, but I wanted a little more gain. So uh, there are three things you can change to change gain. One is to change the cathode resistor uh, on a gain stage. So the first gain stage here is here. This is the cathode resistor and the bypass cap. All I've done is replace the bypass cap and I've left the stock cathode resistor. Uh, coming out, the input comes from the input jack snakes under the board comes through here that's the input of the tube then the third element is the plate low the plate side or the output of the tube so this is attached to the main power supply and the the signal essentially comes out so the little wiggle goes in from your guitar in the middle and then the power supply puts power on the side of the tube and the tube then flows the power through the tube based on the wiggle like a switch and then that power supply being disturbed over here uh, gets split two ways one the AC signal or the, the, the music goes through the cap onto the next stage and the DC signal or some of the signal goes through the plate load resistor and is swamped in the power supply so it's kind of a two-way street uh, most Fender amps use 100K for the plate load resistor. In this case, I've chosen 220K. I've used a carbon comp, so it lo looks almost identical to the one I pulled out of there. And that gives me a slight gain boost through the first stage. Showing this exact same concept with a line drawing, if this is our tube, and there are two, two of these in each 12AX7 type tube, your input signal comes from the input jack or from the previous stage and it disturbs this field that's been set up between the power supply and the ground. And when that field is disturbed, basically an avalanche of, of power from the power supply flows through the tube and out the cathode at the bottom. So the cathode resistor resists the, that flow so if you make that slightly smaller, you will have more flow based on a certain signal level. Uh, coming the other way though, the signal is actually read off the top, the power supply side, and there's a capacitor there to shunt it to the next stage and block out the DC from the power supply. And there's a resistor there to work as a divider and an, as, a, as an isolator. So if you increase the value of the resistor, again a typical value for a Fender amp is 100K, uh, you theoretically send more to the cap. So there are several tuning opportunities here. You could increase the value of the resistor to get more gain, quote unquote. You could decrease the value of the cathode resistor. The bypass cap, which is usually strapped over top of the cathode resistor, determines the EQ of that gain. And the smaller the cap, the more sharp it is. Uh, also keep in mind that if you use a plastic cap a, instead of an electrolytic, an electrolytic makes for a smoother treble with less fizz because it's got more inductance and it doesn't flow the highs as well. Um, you can also tune it by changing the value of the exit cap thereby allowing a smaller bandwidth to go to the next stage. So all of these things are tuning opportunities. The key is you don't want to do them all. You want to be very selective and you just want to take something that's sounding good and nudge it a tiny bit. Thanks.